I'm Donnie Baker, and these are my river confessions. I seen something the other day that just made me stop and ponder. We was traveling through a school zone, the school bus pulls up, it puts a stop sign out, so we stopped too, right then and there, state law. About four or five kids trickle off the sweet pickle bus, and then here comes, I was like, what's the delay? Sure enough, here comes the kid struggling with the big old case. I mean, bigger than him. It looked like Jeff Dunham's when he traveled. And I couldn't hesitate, because I felt such pain and remorse, because I can see where this is headed. And I rode down the window like this, and I said, Put down the French horn! Put down the French horn! I said it just like a SWAT team when they show up. Now, he didn't know or understand. He couldn't comprehend. He moved up his, you know, thick glasses and dark frames. He looked like Jared from Subway's. He looked like a, like a eight-year-old grief counselor. And he put them frames up like this. And you know how kids struggle with their frames when they're in school? Everything's real big and harsh on them. He's like, well, that's just tight like this. I said, put down the French horn. I hate to be the barrel of bad news, but there's no future in a French horn. I mean, he doesn't know it, but I, I can see the future. He's on the path to no puss. You got a case that big, put a snare drum or some weed in it. You know? And then he's like, I don't even like playing and I'm in country music. Country music and you're in a marching band. I mean, these colors don't run where I'm from, but you, your future is smeared. I set it right to his face. But then I take off driving thinking I got it so good. And it was like he put a spell on me. Because every tape I wanted to think about sounded country. Felt country, even. And I started thinking about times and I looked awkward. The worst haircut ever. And I wrote a poem, and when I recited, it sounds country. I swear to God. What's so great about great clips? I ain't never going back again. Cut my bangs down to the quick. Made me look like a lesbian. Sit in that chair with a thousand yard stare. Anything to kill time. Got a bitch named Sally Bird committing a hate crime. Look at this, right here. You know what that is, do you? States are putting out these traps to catch prostitutes. You'll see these in a lot of pickle parks. It's embedded in the ground, which means it's permanent. And they'll catch prostitutes. See, most prostitutes used to be strippers. That's why the whole thing's based around a pole, okay? That kind of attracts them in. Then you fill this bottom rung right here with about two bags of whore feed. Voila, they'll get stuck in the chains. I swear to God. See, this one's already had 17 kills this year. And that's just during bow season.